Hey guys, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to print up a bracket I designed that should fit right over this. Um, now the school of thought is whenever you have a 3D printer that has a spring tensioner on it that you can't print at higher sp speeds with it and you'll have what's called ringing around your print and stuff like that just it uh, because the idea is as the printer changes direction that the spring just can't hold the tension. And so what will end up happening is the spring will, will loosen as the, the stepper motors change direction and it will affect the, your print quality. So my idea is that I come up with this bracket that will just slip over the belt, you know, kind of on this side, on this side, and it will come over this outer part. And then it will just attach with two zip ties, which will then make it a rigid connection instead of a uh, one that can give with the, with the change in direction of the belt. So I'm going to try printing that out, see if it works. If it does, then uh, <laughs> then I'll uh, leave them on there. If it doesn't, then I'll just cut it back off and forget all about it. Um, and if you're interested in it, I did put the file up on Thingiverse. But uh, I'll go ahead and I'll get this set up, and I will see you at the end of the time lapse. Okay guys, so let's take a look at this. See how they come off the build plate. Oh good. Perfect. Okay, so what I did is I took, got this all fixed up. I had to widen them out a little bit more. This is actually my third attempt. <laughs> I believe they'll fit the belt now. But uh, we've got enough of a gap where the belt should fit. And I'll show you how they work out here, at least how I have it planned here in just a moment. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and put this piece on. So what you want to do is make sure that your spring is tensioned really nice and tight. And then take the grooves of this piece here and that will fit over the grooves on the belt. And what I would like to do is I'd like to bring it as close as I can to this spring. Sure, I got it right. I'll retension everything here in just a moment before I before I slip it on the rest of the way, which it feels like it's tensioned good. And I'm just going to kind of pull it a little bit and hopefully get the other one to sneak on. There we go. Oh yeah, sounds like a guitar string. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can get over here and put the zip ties on it without blocking the view. So what I did is I went and I, I wanted to put black zip, zip ties on it, but I couldn't find any. So I ended up having to go with, uh, had to go with the clear ones. So I'm going to go ahead and give those, put those on there. It's, it's not like it's going to really be seen by anybody other than me. Because this part never even shows up on camera. I just want to make sure the belt is completely seated into it. It looks like it is. And it looks like the spring is all the way up against the, the wall of it. So now I want to put zip ties on it. Just mainly to keep the belt from slipping out the back side of the bracket. Let's see here. Just trying to push it between the two belts. Okay, make sure it's between the two belts. I want to bring it around. I'm just going to go ahead and start it over here. I'm trying to do this in a way where I can actually see it on camera. <laughs> okay, so then. Snug it up like that. Doesn't have to be super tight or anything. Just as tight as you'd like, but that'll keep the belt from slipping out the back side of it. And I'll do the same thing to this side now. I 
once again. Bring it over here to the grooves. Just kind of bring it down there kind of even and tighten right up. If everything works right, the grooves should keep the zip ties from slipping off of the of the bracket. At least that's what the plan is. And then I'll clip the extra. That should do it. I think that's going to ride just fine. Let's just make sure here. Let me zoom out. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, and I want to be sure it doesn't bottom out back here on this pulley, which it didn't. If it did, I would have to take and loosen the spring, bring it further down the belt, and then do it all over. But it looks like it's going to work good just like that. So anyway, all I've got to do is turn it around, do this to the other side, and then I'll uh, start printing with it and see if see if I notice any difference in print quality. Um, I don't really don't know whether there will be or not, but it kind of makes sense in, if it's changing direction really fast that there could be a little bit of a, a slop in the belt with a spring on it. So we'll see. I'll just start printing with it like this and see if anything comes up, and I'll keep everybody posted on, on how it works out. Anyway, let's go do it. I'll catch you in the next one. Hey guys, so that's going to do it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell too. That way you'll get notified when a video comes out. If you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page. You can support the channel from there. And if you'd like to watch one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you'll love them. Yeah, I think you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.